at the newly renovated Asheville Art Museum located in historic Pack Square in downtown Asheville. Inside there is a range of new galleries featuring 20th and 21st century art. So follow us as we journey through the art museum and show you what you can expect if you are here for a day visit or if you decide to become a member as well. And as you walk into the museum, you are going to be in a glass atrium. It is filled with oversized artwork. Upstairs, this is going to be where the children's area is. It is filled with craft supplies, art education books, um, all kinds of activities for them to be active, but still be expressing their creativity while at the museum. And as you walk into this gallery, you will see these two paintings that look dramatically different on the left-hand side. This is to set you up so that you kind of understand where the artwork in the Asheville Art Museum is coming from as far as time and place. Now, both of these pieces of art are of the same landscape. This one on the bottom was taken in the late 19th century, and then the one above was taken in the late 20th century. So you can see how an artist's perspective has changed depending on the time frame that they're living in. And in this gallery, you will find 50 years of glass making. This is all from Western North Carolina. Some very stunning pieces that are on display here. So this is a really fun piece. It is all bricks with some really weird sayings, some that are inspirational, some that are just kind of <laughs> makes you think but it's just like a staircase made out of bricks and pottery. Um, really cool, really cool. And during the media preview of the Asheville Art Museum, we were blessed to have many of the artists in attendance and they were at each of their pieces of artwork explaining their inspiration and story behind it. So let's take a listen as to one artist. My name is Jared Sprecher, and the piece behind me is a painting, Invisible as Music. And the uh, work in it, it takes imagery of flowers uh, that are also abstracted, like a sort of double exposure. So there's bits of architecture and even a person hidden in the image uh, and a sort of grid spread throughout. Uh, so it's really a sort of weaving an image together at a pretty high speed. Uh, lots of paint and color and reflections uh, as part of the painting. Can you show us where the hidden person is? Yes, uh, <laughs> it is. It's sort of hard to get back from, uh, but you start to see the silhouette of a figure right here. Oh. So you see the sort of head and the shoulders on either side. A fun element of the museum is that there's a lot of interactive artwork. This is just one of the pieces where if you flip the switch, you can actually make the oars go back and forth. So it's fun for kids. Right, so what is interesting about the one behind me is that all of those colors are made with pigments that are found in the ground. And then those pigments are like also shown in the little glass jars there too. So it kind of brings it all into perspective as to what the artist is using. And in this gallery, this is a modern interpretation of that art. Many of these pieces were really oversized, very unique, very modern. Uh, keep in mind that a lot of the art though is going to be rotating out so these are not the same pieces that you might see when you come and visit the museum so always double check and make sure what gallery showings there is going to be during your visit. If you find that you're there at the museum a long time or you just want to chill and have a glass of wine or beer, go up to Perspective Cafe on the rooftop level. They have some amazing mountain views and you'll be able to watch the sunset here as well. Many different aspects of the region are portrayed. So you can see the pottery and then there's actually an architectural drawing from a spot on the Biltmore Estate. So Biltmore is a big part of the Asheville community. It's lovely to see architecture here in the museum. And then right beside it is a beautiful painting of what the foliage looks like during the fall in the area. So it's kind of an overall representation of all art in Western North Carolina. It is definitely a mixture of modern and mountain. 
And if you're here for a art class, this is probably where you're gonna be taking a class. And then be sure to schedule some time to check out the library if you are really interested in art. This is just one of the many things that we're gonna be showcasing about the Asheville region. We'd love it if you subscribe to our channel for even more videos and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Take care.